and Wreck TV. Peace, world. To promote your music or promote your business by placing an ad on MREC TV, contact MREC TV promo, M R E C K TV promo at gmail.com. Peace. What's happening, y'all? Um, <clears throat> I know it's been a minute since I uh, had an opportunity to uh, speak with you all. I was on uh, vacation. And then when I came off of my vacation, uh, really didn't have shit to say. So, um, just sat back for a minute. I wanted to discuss the Black Panther movie after most people had an opportunity to see it because I didn't want to spoil the shit. And if you haven't seen it already, then that's fucked up. But <clears throat> one of my really good friends from New York um, said something that was so powerful. She said, uh, no, that's not what happened. One of my really good friends from Atlanta said that she had an opportunity to go to one of the premieres in Atlanta and she said she felt like we lost a great opportunity for dialogue in our community especially with our children because we had a panel first then we saw the movie then everybody left and went to the W and went and party she said but it was so many powerful things that was in that movie that needed to be unpacked and discussed after people saw the movie so it's like we see something amazing not that we have to agree with everything that was in it but there are a lot of questions that especially these children have and I think a lot of times um, this also relates to what we do to our children in our community We'll have these great discussions or we'll talk at our children um, and then not listen. Not allow them to unpack their questions, their feelings, their emotions. Um, and in a lot of cases, they have some questions that we need to address. I remember one time this young Asian kid asked me, David Banner, how does it feel that America pays you? to star in movies and because you're over six feet tall and you're not a comedian they play they pay you to continue to instill black fear in america because you're always playing these thug roles or these dope dealer roles when in fact you're very articulate you're very educated you have an opportunity to play a plethora of roles and i was like damn i never thought about that but if i wouldn't have allowed that child to unpack or I wouldn't have listened to him I wouldn't have learned a great lesson so um one of the examples that I want to give and again when I say this um because I had a posted a while back um on my page right after um Black Panther had was released I said that we need to stop poke trying to poke holes in everything sometimes we need to just sit, sit back and take the momentum off of something but then I ended up taking it down because I believe there is space for healthy criticism for everything and we need to allow people to know that we're constantly watching even in so-called positive things so I took it down because you know sometimes I say something then I talk to myself like yo is that correct is that honest is that fair to other people but I want to give this uh, example that uh, I heard from Tariq Nasheed. He was like um, Killmonger's character was like the Malcolm X character. You know, and um, T'Challa was like, you know, Martin Luther King. And I, I agree with him. I like, why does why does the aggressive character always have to be killed? Why does the aggressive character, the one that really cares about black people, because if you look, white people have always been aggressive. White people that come to America with love for Native Americans, 
They didn't have love for the aborigine people or the aboriginal people, excuse me. They came with force. They came and took shit. So it's like we as black people have a tendency of any black man who is willing to do anything for his race that he's mentally unfit or he's not fair when in in in, in, in actuality where people will say that's racist or people these are people who have been affected because if you notice Killmonger said I want to take these weapons and give it to all oppressed people he said oppressed people and then I started thinking I was like yo I actually agree with everything that he says and then I even looked at it, I remember um, I played in a movie called The Confidant. I played a character that was named Jackson. And I remember everybody saying that Jackson was the antagonist. I felt similar about Jackson as I felt about Killmonger. Like he was the one who dad got killed. He was the one who was left to fend for himself. And his aggressive nature actually came from the army. It came from colonialism. It came from um, the same people who we are scared to be aggressive against. So when our children see that, it makes them want to be more peaceful. And I, I've always wondered, this is something that I wanted to ask, but I don't think I've ever said out loud. Why are the victims always the ones who want to be peaceful? Why are the victims always the ones who want to give their guns up and want strict gun laws and strict gun rules? Like if you think about it, even from a gun perspective, everybody who is against you as a black person doesn't give a fuck about a law. A criminal doesn't give a fuck about the law. The cops doesn't give a fuck about a gun law. They don't keep guns. So the only person who is truly constricted is the actual uh, citizen. So like even in the movie, I was like, yo, like he even went and fought by the law. He didn't come in and bring an army. He came and brung, dropped off the white dude who had been fucking over them. He fought by tribe law and won. Like. There was really nothing that he did that was wrong. He was just an aggressive alpha male who was willing to do anything for his people. So the only reason why I wanted to address that is because we have to watch the messages that we send our children. Then the other problem that I had was at the end of the movie when they went to, I think it was the UN, you know, he gave this Martin Luther King like, speech about how he wanted to help all people why not just help wakanda wakanda other part of wakanda was fucked up like why not just help why not just help africa why not just help your own people like we are so quick to want to help every other race every other pro every other group of people who uh, have problems but these people never as a whole come to help us so we need to be selfish in the sense that I can't help someone else build a house until I have a house of my own. So to say that, you know, we all have these similarities and give all these speeches. Those are speeches that white people need to be saying or giving, you know. And the thing is, is that we have to be careful. And the only reason why we have to be careful is because these are our, our children's heroes. You know, I think it's the most, it's one of the most powerful films I've ever seen in my whole entire life. I believe everybody should go in and see the movie. But there are certain things that we should address to our children and talk to our children about so that we can get it straight. You know, I'll give you another example. Um, one of the things that I've been harping on for a long time and I don't think people get is we have to be very careful about the fact that we allow white people to pick our leaders and with the exception of of Michael B. Jordan I don't really know any of the rest of those people I I know Michael B. Jordan used to play ball 
a little bit in um in LA. But like we've we've talked several times and you know, we have a cordial relationship. But what I will say is this is that when like Chadwick, for example, when something happens in our community, a lot of times because of America and America is really only uh, only really cares about money and ratings and stuff like that. These are the people that they will go and get now when something happens in our community to put in front of a camera and because white people um, have chosen our leaders in a lot of cases and I'm not saying with him because I don't know him personally um, those types of people will have a tendency to lean towards the Martin Luther King shit that has never worked in history for us the get along gang mentality because a lot of people are scared to lose these illustrious positions that white people have given them so we have to be careful because the black panther who is embodied in this person is actually our children's heroes and it's not his fault that he was given that opportunity but we have to be careful and we have to make sure that we have more of a stake in choosing who our superheroes are in real life because you have to think these are going to be the voices, whether we like it or not, um, for our liberation when it's time. And although that's not their responsibility, we know the harsh truth of America. And we know how much power that idiot box have, has on us and our children. So just be very, very careful of who we allow to speak for us. And I think those people should be held accountable, you know, held accountable, like physically, like if you're going to speak on behalf of black people, then you need to be held accountable by black people or just say, I don't have a comment. You know, we, we, we have to be very careful, man. And we have to make sure at, at, at some point that we are on one accord because just about every black person you put in front of a camera has a different ideology, has a different feel, have, has a different want. When in other cases, when you look at other races of people, they're usually on one accord. You know, so these are the types of things that I just think, I just think that it's very important that after our kids see something or experience something, or let's say that you bring your kids to come see David Banner, that's a lot of heavy shit to be put on the child's mind it is your responsibility as a as a parent or it is your responsibility as a community that makes that you make sure that you have an opportunity to unpack that information with your children um again i am very very proud of and i'm very very happy uh about black panther we send in um a pretty substantial group of uh, young kids from the Boys and Girls Club. I told them to make sure that they pick the kids who were from the hood, who didn't have an opportunity, who probably never have had an opportunity to go uh, to the movies at all, and um, to make sure that they take those kids, you know, um, to see Black Panther because I was floored. I, I am at all with the film itself. Overall, it's one of the most amazing films I've ever seen in my life. But we have to make sure anything that comes from mainstream media, it always has some something in that motherfucker that we have to watch for. And overall, I was actually surprised that they put the amount of shit that they did in it. You know, um, when she called her boy a colonizer, I almost lost my shit. Um, but my favorite part in the whole movie was when um, when dude said, uh, when dude said, you better not say another word or I'm going to feed you to my children. And then the white dude got real scared and he was like, ah, just joking. We vegetarians. You know what I'm saying? Because apes are vegetarians. So I just thought that was dope. Peace world to promote your music or promote your business by placing an ad on MREC TV, contact MREC TV promo.
M R E C K T V promo at gmail.com. Peace. Switch things to the opposite way. It's the map that the strippers and the groupies pay. Yeah, bands make her dance. You can't juice this J. We about to terrorize the rap game. Fuck it right and give it back pain. Uh-huh. Ever since a kid, it stayed focused, barely hung out. Uh-huh. Pops went to jail, mom, dukes got strung out. Like Jordan with the tongue out, determined to win. And got the best product out, and you killing the strip. I taught the money gymnastics, I'm making it flip. Hit the block hard, yes, early morning on the wake up. Betty Crocker cook skills, help me get my cake up. Cause she's coming left and right, it feels like the first. Okay. The money is a gift, but the bills is a curse. I'm a overachiever, not a superstition for I'm good everywhere, like credit from a visa The rotten apple, you could get shot in your Adam's apple Giving God praise, leaving out the tabernacle Let me squeeze trigger 45 I feel like Kevin Costner, bodyguard Holding down with me, that paperwork got his name on it They snitch niggas in it Oh yeah, subscribe to MREC TV YouTube.com Slash MREC TV I'm gone